Heavenly Father, Lord God, we pray for strength tonight. And we pray that, Lord, you bless us more than we came today. We return home better in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. So, this evening we'll be sharing and we'll pray. One particular prayer that Jesus Christ taught, taught us, uh, we call it prayer point. Something is wrong about this, with this uh, microphone. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus taught us to pray, and in one of the prayer points, they deliver us from evil. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It says, deliver us from what? Evil. And you remember on Sunday we talked about um, on Sunday we said that next year is going to be the year of what? Yeah, that's the theme for the year. But it's going to be the year of man. Praise God. The year of man. Year of man. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 6 verse 13. He said, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from what? Evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Deliver us from evil. So, and um, one of the challenges is that a lot of us um, don't know when our angels come. And um, some of us don't know when our Satan comes also. Praise the Lord. So next year, you have to identify your man as I identify my man. Praise the Lord. You don't know who God sends to you. You don't know who Satan sends to you. We said, men appear as what? Angels. Men appear as what? Angels. So also men appear as Satan. Matthew 16, from verse 21. So Jesus was telling them what is going to happen to him when he goes to Jerusalem. How he's going to suffer, how he's going to be killed. And um, how he's going to be raised on the third day. Did you hear that? He will suffer, he will be killed, and he will be what? Raised. Then Peter took him aside in verse 22 and he began to rebuke him. So it's like Peter did not hear the whole, he didn't hear well. So he took Jesus aside and rebuked him that God forbid you will not suffer. God forbid you will not die. Then in verse 23, the Bible told us that Jesus looked at Peter and said, get behind me. Who? Can you put, um, put the living Bible? Put the living Bible. So Jesus told him, get behind me. You are a dangerous what? You are a what? You are a dangerous trap. You are a dangerous trap. You are thinking merely from a human point of view and not from God's point of view. I want you to pray, Father, every appearance of man that is a trap. Father, let me recognize it. A lot of us have entered into the traps of men by relationship, by business, by work different entrapment of the enemy that we couldn't recognize 
But Jesus recognized that this one is a trap. This counsel is a trap. This business is a trap. This transaction is a trap. This relationship is a trap. This engagement is a trap. This job, there are jobs that have turned men to monsters. I want you to pray. Father, open my eyes to see and to understand every appearance of man that is a trap. Lord, let me see. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. So Jesus called Peter, what? He called him what? Satan. What's the purpose? Is to entrap him. First Peter chapter 5. I think verse 8. From verse 8. First Peter chapter 5. Be careful. Watch out for attacks from who? Satan. Your friend. Your lover. Your companion. Your what? Your enemy. But the appearance of Satan is not the two horns. And you can begin to reflect on your life. You will see how you have been entrapped by association or by one way or the other. This is the interaction and our relationship with men. But next year is going to be a bigger one. Because what God is going to do for you is still going to do for you through men. And what Satan is going to do against you is still going to do it through men. He said he prowls around like a hungry roaring lion looking for some victim to do what? To tear apart. By the time some men finish with some women, eh? you know, all those stunting trouser guys with sweet tongues, precious, they hear me. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You know, by the time they finish the lyrics, after three years, say you still leper like this, we'll be looking for you, no, we'll see you. What do you say? Joseph and Co. With Joseph. <laughs> Old Joseph. <laughs> hey, praise God. You know what I'm talking about? Sweet tongues, entrapment. By the time it's done, it tells you apart. But the next verse says, you should do what? Resist him. Stand firm when he attacks. Stand firm. So I'm giving us a, a heads up into next year. Everybody's a suspect next year. Even you, I don't suspect you now. Either I suspect you for good or for bad. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's going to be the year of men. God is going to use men to help us. As much as God is planning to help you. So also Satan is arranging his men to wound you. Jesus recognized the Satan in Peter. Actually, Peter was counseling Jesus. And was telling Jesus, see, you can't die. That's not the plan of God for your life. But Jesus said, man, I would suffer, I would die, and I would be raised again. He took Jesus to one corner and began to rebuke him. So next year, we must understand and recognize the ministry of men. And identify who, you see, you can't just begin to talk to everybody anyhow. You can't bring everybody and anybody into your life anymore. The ones that we have done is enough. The information we have given is enough. The diarrhea of the mouth that has leaked is enough. Next year is the year of keep quiet. You don't know who you are talking to, if it's an enemy or is a friend. It's enough. Small time. If your wife fry grindy, you put it on Facebook. It's enough. You know, some of us are like that. 
is enough. Even if you go to Maraba to buy yam, you post it. Yam is cheaper in day day than Maraba. I just got 50 for 1,000 naira. Do you understand what I'm saying? Enough. Because it is what you give that the enemy or the friend will use against you or for you. Not, every, not even in the church. Not even in the church. Praise the Lord. <laughs> the enemy will not get the best of us in Jesus name. First Thessalonians chapter 3. And we're going to pray. Even in this country, you have people that are destined to help us spiritually. People that will impact. You see, it is still man that God will use. If you check Romans chapter 1, Paul was writing to the Romans. He said, I long to see you that I can impact part unto you some spiritual blessings. So it is not about physical things alone that we are going to live by. Even spiritual things. He said, I long to visit you, to see you so that I can impart. I can transfer. You understand? He said, for I long to see you that I may impart unto you some what? Spiritual gift to the end that you may be what? Established. So next day, don't let us be like that man at that beautiful gate. He was looking at Peter and John for what? For money. And they told him, man, silver or gold we don't have. Next year, let us up our game. He said, I long to impart. So it is still God. It is still man that God will use to impart in our lives spiritual gifts, spiritual blessings. Paul was writing to Timothy. He told him, he says, share up the gift as in you that was transferred to you by the raising of what? Laying of hands, not hand of God, hand of man. So be mindful who you'll be rolling with next year because it is the year of what? Men, don't let them take the luchu that you have. Praise the Lord. There are stargazers everywhere. They know if you carry something. They know. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. So Paul was writing to the Thessalonians. Because there will be trouble. Satan will appear. Uh, if, this, if Satan gets loosened in our lives, man. Just one opportunity that God gave Satan. In the life of Job. Job tried his best. But the best was not good enough. Paul was writing to the Thessalonians. He said, finally I can. When I could stand it no longer. I'm reading the living Bible. I decided to stay alone in Athens. And sent Timothy, our brother and fellow worker, God's minister, to visit you, to strengthen your faith, and to encourage you. Did you see that? To do what? Visit, strengthen, and do what? Encourage. These are the people we need next year. You don't need somebody that will pull you down. You don't need a backstabber. Backstabbing is not the problem. Backbiting is not the problem. Slandering is not the problem. Gossip is not the problem. The problem is the person holding a knife. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is the person talking about me that is my live and live lover. That's the problem. It is that your co-worker in the office that is your backstabber. It is that younger sister that is your backstabber. Next year, God will expose all the frenemies that we have. He said to strengthen and to do what? To encourage. You are going to pray. Father, send me my portion of men. That's how we are going to do it. There is a portion of men. There are destinies. There are destiny helpers. Paul sent Timothy to the Thessalonians. To strengthen and encourage. 
to strengthen and encourage. We are going to pray. Lord, send me my portion of men that will strengthen me. You need different kinds of strengthening. I need different kinds of... Some of us just need emotional strengthening. Some of us need psychological strengthening. Some of us need to be strengthened in the place of job. Some of us need to be strengthened in the place of finance. Some of us need to be strengthened in the place of emotions. Some of us need encouragement. Some of us don't know that we can do more than what we are doing. But when somebody comes along our way and the person encourages us and the words of encouragement kind of enters into us and brings life and brings and bring strength i want you to pray lord my portion oh god of men for next year lord my portion of men that will strengthen me lord that will encourage me not men that will bring me down not men that will pull me down not men that will seek my destruction not men that will seek my destruction not men that will relish my downfall not men that will be happy when i'm losing not men that will be happy when i'm crying not men that will be happy when i'm down lord strength Lord, send me men, oh God, women, oh God, that will strengthen and encourage my life, that will strengthen and encourage my ministry, that will strengthen and encourage my business, that will strengthen and encourage my home. Lord, send me my portion of men in the year 2024 in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, send me my portion of men in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And look at the last part. And to keep you, verse 3, from becoming faint-hearted. Put verse 3 there. To keep you from becoming faint-hearted. You need men that when the going gets tough, men that will tell you you cannot give up. Not men like Job's kind of wife. That will say, curse God and die. Men that will push you even in the thickest of the storm. He said, and to keep you from becoming faint-hearted in all the troubles you were going through. That was past. It was a past trouble. They came out of the trouble. And if you read it, but of course you know that such troubles are a part of God's plan. For us, even while we were with you, we warned you ahead of time that suffering will soon come, and it did. So at this time, it had passed. Do you understand the English? It did, but they survived it. So you need men that will be with you in the times of trouble. I want you to pray, Lord, send me my portion of men one more time. Lord, send me my portion of men. When I go through fire, Lord, when I go through waters, Lord, in 2024, Lord, send me my portion of men, oh God, to win, to overcome, and to conquer. Lord, send me my portion of men in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, send me, oh God, my portion of men. Let me identify them clearly. Let me see them clearly. As Jesus identified Satan, a lot of us have not been able to identify frenemies in our lives. I want you to pray and say, Lord, send me my portion of men in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen. Just one day, like I said, one opportunity that Satan had. He brought Job down but he did not bury him. Everything was taken away. Everything. Satan can use anything. Weather, demonic attack. The Bible said a demonic spirit took over Saul to destroy him. First Samuel 16 14. A demonic spirit. Bad news. You are going to pray, Father. I will not receive bad news next year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eli received bad news, he died. The, the wife, the, the, his daughter in law, received the bad news. Of a husband that 
that we were killed and she died. I want you to pray. I say, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, come 2024, bad news is not my portion. In the mighty name, I want you to really pray. Lord, bad news is not my portion. Some people, they die hearing bad news. They collapse and they never got out of it. I want you to pray and say, Father, in the year 2024, bad news is not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, bad news is not my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bad news is not my portion. In Jesus name we pray. So that is why Christianity is about good news. Jesus is about good news. 1 Samuel 4, 16 to 22. Bad news. One bad news killed Eli. The same bad news killed the daughter-in-law. And she said the glory has departed from Israel. When she gave birth to the boy. And named him Ichabod. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray. <laughs> First Chronicles 12. Verse 1. First Chronicles 12 verse 1. 1 Chronicles 12 verse 1. The Bible says, these are the names of men who joined David in Ziklag when he was banished from the presence of Saul, the son of Kish. They were the warriors who assisted him in battle. Because David was in battle. He ran for his life. And in running for his life, some people came to find him, to help him. You are going to pray. Father, in the times of the battle of 2024, Lord, send me men that will take me out. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, I don't know whatever is coming our way in 2024. Men that will help us. Lord God, in whatever challenge, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, men that will assist oh god my father my god even in times of battle in difficult times i want you to pray lord in the mighty name of jesus father lord send my helpers lord of different capacities in the mighty name of jesus we have five minutes to go and i really want you to pray lord destiny help us destiny help us that will take me out of the mary clay men that you will send and they will take me to the place that you have destined for me. My father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, send this man to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, men that will speak on my behalf. Men that their voices cannot be denied. Men that will stand their ground on my behalf for me to meet up in my place of destiny. For me to show up in my place of purpose. My father, my God, send such men to me in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. So when this man came to David, David was afraid. If you read from verse 2 to verse 16, you will see different kinds of men that came to David. Listen, I don't need a singer alone in my life. As I need a singer, I need somebody that is doing fish like Joseph. I need somebody that is doing computer like you know you need different kinds of people in your life because your life is not just one straight jacket so you will see the different kinds of people that came to help david just to take him from the cave to the throne so that he could win a lot of times we used to think that this is my helper no the help that this one will provide is not the help that this one will provide. It's not the help that this one will provide. Different, different kinds of help from different, different kinds of people will make our lives complete. You will see that these people are not the same. They are guys that can throw javelin. They are guys that know how to read time. You know people, you need people that will tell you, guy, guy, wake up, this is your time. Praise the Lord. Different kinds of people. When David saw them, David was so afraid. 
And in verse 17, the Bible said, David came to meet them. And he asked them, did you guys come in peace? If you come to me in peace and want to help me. If you come in peace and you want to help me. He said, I will sign an alliance with you. He said, but if you have come to harm me, the God of our fathers, take notice and judge. In verse 18, the Bible said, the spirit of God came on Amasai. Put normal English there. Okay. He said the spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains. And he said, we are yours. He did not pay. David did not pay nothing. He did not send anybody to them. What brought them was the spirit of God. What brought those people is God. We are going to pray. Those men that will help me. That will not disgrace me. Lord God, you know them. You know them. God, you know them. The people that will take me higher. Oh, Lord, you know them. Lord, you know them. Lord, Father, send them to me. I want you to pray. You need the ministry of men. I need the ministry of men 2024. Lord, send them to me by your spirit. They will not miss my location. In the mighty name of Jesus, be they, be, be they in London, be they in anywhere, anywhere they are, Lord, Father, as you have destined my life and their lives to meet in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray and say, Father, they will not miss me. I will not miss them our paths will cross to the glory of your name in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name we have prayed i hope you understand what we are doing we're just preparing ourselves for 2024 see listen guys i'm not sufficient on my own all i am today is by the help of god and i'm as i told david you need to understand when, we are, when I'm telling you guys that next year is the ministry of what? Men. God will not send angels. God will not send. No. God will send who? Men. Look at what Amasai said. He said, and peace. He said, we are dying. That son of Jesse. Peace be unto thee. And peace be to thy helpers. David needs help. Human beings need help. This is a king anointed in waiting, but yet he cannot find his place and position of fulfillment. He said, for thy God did what? Help thee. So did God come? Did God come? Who came? Man. He said, for thy God. When God wants to help a man, God sends a man. Are you with me? When God wants to help a man to move from a lower level to a higher level, God will speak to a man. He said, peace. Be See, you are going to pray, Father, my destiny apart. Until they find me, they will not know peace. Can you pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Lord, as many as you have arranged my life, Lord, that you have aligned us to meet. Lord, going forward and in 2024, my father, they will not know rest in the mighty name of Jesus. And my son said, peace unto the helpers. If they don't help, they will know no peace. I want you to pray, Father, for my family, for my children, for my husband, for my work, for my wife, for my ministry, for my brother, for my sister, for my mother, for my father. Lord, our destiny helpers shall not know peace. In the mighty name name of Jesus. They will lose their peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will lose their peace until they find us in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, destiny of us, oh God, that will not know peace until they fulfill the purpose and the ministry of help. In the mighty name of Jesus. In my life, in Jesus' name we are praying. He said, God help thee. God help thee. But God didn't come. It was men. It was men. Say, for thy God helps thee. That was when David received them. Because he knew that this one, there's somebody you will help. 
Or somebody that will help you say, don't mind him. Don't mind him. Now me. Do you understand? These are not those kind of people. Hmm. Oh God. I remember there was a time. You know, these are not the kind of people that you will help. There are some kind of people that you will help when they, you know, they, they are now grown. They cannot stand up and begin to help you. Praise God. Praise God. They will forget where they are coming from. They will forget the fingers that fed them. They will forget on the council that they rode. They are now what? Big boys. Big boys. We are going to pray. Men that want to take your glory in my life. Father, do not send them to me. Father, may I not come across them. Men that want to take the glory in my life. Oh God. Father, do not send them. I will not. Father, because you will take all the glory. You will take all the honor. You will take all the adoration. Father, men that will want to use me to shine. Men that will want to be glorified. Oh God. Father, using me as a tool of glorification. My Father, Lord God, they will not come my way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, they will not come my way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, they will not come my way. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. See, you can't come to this life like Methuselah. Are you with me? You know Methuselah? What one thing did Methuselah, what one thing did he do? Eh? He lived... Guinness Book of Record. That's a terrible Guinness Book of Record. There's more to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke 12, 23. Jesus said, for life consists of far more. Luke 12, 22 and 23. 23, Jesus said, life consists is more than me. There is more to life. Hallelujah. There is what? More. You see, it is a tragedy that God will give you life. And all you will use to pursue life is mundanity. And you can't fulfill purpose. They can't point to one thing or the other that you have done. Other than the man loves food. There is far more. There is more to life. And let me tell you, Satan will not permit you to do that more. He can engage you. <laughs> There's one guy in John chapter 5, verse 7. He's been stagnant. And do you know what the guy told Jesus? John chapter 5, verse 7. What was the reason of his stagnancy? There was no man. No helper. Your life has not changed. Your life has not transformed. Why? There is no helper. You are going to pray. I don't know what point you have been for a long time. The year 2024 is the year of men. Men that will come your way and change your position. If you are not tired of that position... If you are not tired of that job seeking, if you are not tired, I want you to pray. Lord, men that when Jesus came across that man, his position changed. Ah, the man said, I've been here for a long time because there's no man. There's no man. I want you to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the year 2024, every man that I will meet, my position will change for good. In the mighty name of Jesus, my position will change for good. Those men and women, oh God, that will not leave me the way I am. Those men and women, oh God, that will not leave me the way I have been for a long time. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, such destiny help us send them along my way. In the name of Jesus, Lord, send them along my way. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, send them. Father, I need to change position. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hope you are 
praying. Father, I need to change position in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I need to change position in the name of Jesus. Father, send them my way. Lord, send such men my way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, send such men along my way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Remember one of the things I said on Sunday was, be nice. Hallelujah. Amen. Next time, be what? Be nice, but not be stupid. <laughs> you know, there are different things. Hebrews 13. Be what? Be nice. Be nice. But don't be stupid. Verse 2, the Living Bible says, Don't forget to be kind to strangers. For some of you have done this, have entertained angels without doing what? Realizing it. You just think that person was just an ordinary man. No, he was an angel. I'll tell you a story, then we'll close. I think I've shared this story before. I am me, but I'm still an angel. I told you there's so many sides of me. There's Satan in me too. Everybody has a sin. You battle everything. There are demons. You understand? The good, the bad, and ugly. You hear something, but you say, eh? Let me do that thing. I can't believe it. You better believe it. Let me do it. Praise God. And you hear another one, he did that one, say, praise God. Because that time is an angel. And I miss you, Do you understand what I'm saying? So I tell us this story. Then I'll pray. I mean, I want us to take this prayer seriously when we get into our closets. See, in these difficult times, men are helping men out. Hallelujah. Men are connecting men in these difficult times. Men are helping men out. So if men could help men out, God could send men to you also to help you out. So one day I was driving. I was around. I'd have to, the story of um, Esther. One of my, I wish I could see that girl someday. So in those days, if I am tired, if I, if I close from work, Okay. I'll just use my car and do kabu kabu. You know that I came from Lagos now. In Lagos, I wake up very early. I wake up like 4, leave home like 4.30. I was living at inside Abule, going to Abule, we call that place Yakuyo, Begaside, Ojuju Begaside. And I was working at Ajangbadi side. You know the yard names? Okukumaiko. Aka Road. That was where I was working. If I leave home five, I'll be late. So I leave home very early and I I close very late. So by the time I came to Abuja and I still woke up 4.30, everywhere was dark. There was nobody outside. Like what kind of people are these people? So we go back to sleep. So what I do is that when I close from work, I will now use my car to do kabu kabu till I'm tired. You understand? So one of those days that I was doing my kabu kabu after work, so I just saw two guys with one pregnant woman. We're talking about angels. Hmm? We're talking about angels. So, so the, the three of them flagged me now. So they put the woman in the front and they closed the door. I was expecting the guys to enter and follow her. And they closed the door. Ah. And I asked her, where are you going? She said, nowhere. And she was in labor. I don't marry now. <laughs> she was in labor. So you see how God arranges your angel? And I was working in State House. 
I mean, state house clinic. So I had access to a medical facility. So what did I do? Immediately, I just called the chief physician to the president then. So I told him, I said, sir, I have an emergency. <laughs> he said, what's the emergency? I said, there's a friend. Now she's a friend. <laughs> I don't know why. We're talking about angels, you know. I said, I have a friend, and she's in labor. Ah, he said, bring her, bring her, bring her, bring her. So I now asked her, I said, where are the baby's clothes? He said, there's none. So I became a father to be. You know? <laughs> Do you understand? Activate. <laughs> Praise God. We're talking about angels. Is that okay? So God arranged everything perfectly for her. So, immediately I got there. You know that the baby's head came out as we were parking in the hospital. The water broke. You know, because I had to recline the chair, you know, so that she could lean back, you know. So they took her in. She gave birth on the couch, you know. As they were doing pushing, pushing, I had to run to go and buy baby things. <laughs> I brought baby stuff, you know. We're talking about what? Angels. God did not come down. But God just arranged me for her. So I went to buy baby stuff. I just bought for that time. For that. So when um, they finished dressing baby, the second day she was better, third day. Okay, so where will I take her to? It's been, it's been long I've been doing nonsense. <laughs> it's been long I've been doing nonsense, man. You know, I, <laughs> you know, I have to go to my house. <laughs> so, ah, so when I took her to my house, my friend now said, "Ah, ah. my neighbor said, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, how did I? Take her to my house. So, the second day, I now asked her, where do you live? She said she lives in an uncompleted building. She was a destitute. But she speaks the best of the English show. So, she told me the story of her life. And I said, okay, all right. So, I did the nonsense. I took her to my house. Got things. Got baby stuff. And my friend come and said, go ahead, brother. Open your head. If your head is blocked, <laughs> you have finished what God called you to do. Take her back to her place. So when I got to the place, it was a really terrible place, man. Uncompleted building, lizards everywhere. So I had to buy a mosquito net. I bought her mattress. She just had this cat on and one or two clothes, you know. So I bought her everything, stove, mosquito net, everything, you know. Give her some money. It paid me that I left her, but I had to. I had to leave her all the same. So I left her. So one day, I was playing table tennis with my principal then. Then, she came. I did not recognize her. The girl was like four years. And if she's watching, I need to see her one time again. I did not recognize her again. So, and my principal, the chief physician to the president then, was laughing. He was not asking me. You don't know her? Because he recognized, you know, he came that day for the delivery and everything. I said, I don't know how. And I really don't. If I see you tomorrow and I walk past you, please. I did not know her. She has changed. The girl. So, she now, she too didn't say anything. The man asked me, you mean you don't know her? I just said, I don't know her. And I don't know her. The man was angry like, are you joking? I don't. The girl was just, I mean, the woman now, the lady, she was just weeping. She was beautiful. The girl, beautiful. <laughs> she, now, <laughs> she now said, Esther, go and meet daddy. I said, meet daddy. <laughs>
like, what? Did I impregnate somebody that you know that I don't know, you know? So the girl came to me, I carried her, you know, I was confused, morose, man. I was looking at my guy, I was looking at the girl, who's your daddy? And the girl was laughing, you know, I played with the girl. Then she now came to me and said, you don't know me. I said, I'm sorry, I don't know you. She said, I'm the woman that you picked and gave birth here. I said, this is your daughter, Esther. <laughs> I don't they do nonsense long time, man. <laughs> I was stunned. Be kind. Do you understand? Be kind. It's a sweet story. Sweet story. Now she has gotten work with UNDP. You open eye. Me, she has left me behind. <laughs> Even her bag, you know, she was walking with poise and glam. Me, I can't you follow her now. <laughs> like, there was a truck SUV that she came with, official car. And that was the last day I saw her. She just came to say thank you. Angels appear in different forms. Angels are still men. Satan are still men. Come on, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? The sweet honey is that same sweet honey that's going to chuck your knife. Do you understand? Finally, you are going to pray. Lord, my angels, that will do me good. At least if for anything you heard my story. My angels that will do me good. My men and women that will do me good. As Yemi did this woman good. And changed her story. Changed her level. And did not abandon her. He saw her through her process. I want you to pray. Lord, the men and women that will do me good in 2024. That will not abandon me in my misery. That will not abandon me in my tears. That will not abandon me in my toil. That will not abandon me in my cry. That will not abandon me in the pit. Lord, send me this man. Arrange our paths to cross. Can you pray and say, Lord, arrange our paths to cross. Wherever they are on the face of the earth. Lord, arrange our paths to cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, arrange our paths, oh God, in whatever form you need this kind of men and women. I want you to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our path cross. Let my story change, oh God. Let me fulfill purpose because there is more to life. There is more to life than meat and drink. There is more. There is more. That more is called purpose. That more is called purpose. That more is called achievement. That more is called living your sign in the sands of time. Lord, destiny help us. That's what we are talking about. My Father, my God, send them to me. A lot of us have been stagnant because we don't have men. I tell you, next year is going to be year of men. The year of men. The year of men. Lord, open my eyes to recognize my men. Open my eyes to see Satan in men. Open my eyes to see God in men. Open my eyes to see the demons in men. Open my eyes to see the angels Amen. Next year, I will not waste my life. I will not play myself into the hands of the enemy. Enough of hobnobbing. Enough of the romancing the enemy. Enough, oh God, Father, next year, I will not be the same again. I will identify and recognize. And I will live accordingly. And I will live accordingly in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help me with destiny. Help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you. In Jesus name we have prayed. We are going to pray lastly. Father, if my men are in the north, may they find me. If my men are in the south, may they find me. And I want you to turn to your north wherever you are. Face your north and
Jesus, Father, send my men. Oh, east, release my men. West, release my men. North, release my men. South, release my men. In the mighty name of Jesus, my destiny has been released from the four cardinal points of the earth. In the name of Jesus, be released. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Lastly, I'm going to say, I receive my men. I receive my angels. My angels from the north, I receive you. My angels from the south, I receive you. My angels from the west, I receive you. My angels from the east, I receive you. In the mighty name of Jesus, from anywhere you are, I receive you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive you. Our destinies will not miss. Our paths will cross. I receive you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lastly, we are going to pray for grace to be kind and nice. Some of us, just, we just don't smile. And it costs nothing to smile. And you just see the weight of the whole world is on your face. Everybody knows that something is wrong with you. We are going to pray, Father, give me grace. There is a grace that we need to excel. And it is called the grace of giving. And that was what Paul wrote to the Corinthians church. He said, see that you excel in this grace also. Because the Macedonian church excelled in that grace. We are going to pray, Father, the spirit of excellence. In the grace of being nice. In the grace of being kind. In the grace of giving. I want you to pray for that grace tonight. Because that is the key to unlock the ministry of your angels. If you do don't, if you are not kind, if you are not nice, if you don't smile, if you can't say hello, you can't unlock the ministry of your angel. So I want you to pray tonight and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, that grace, oh God, to excel in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, to unlock the ministry of my angels and to unlock the ministry of demons. Father, give me that grace tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want us to thank God for tonight and thank God for 2024. Man, it's going to be a great year for you. I want you to thank God in anticipation of the kind of men and women that will be coming your way. The kind of angels that will be coming your way. The kind of satans you'll be recognizing and you will not fall in their dangerous trap. I want you to thank God tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are not going to go into business with those people that will wreck you. You are not going to go into any relationship with those people that will drain you. I want you to give God thanks tonight and say, Father, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you because you have released our men. You have released our angels. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, Lord, we thank you for tonight and we bless you. Thank you because you have heard our prayers. Thank you because you will open our eyes to, to understand. You will open our spirit into another level of discernment. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, that we will not miss every opportunity of the appearance of men that comes our way next year. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will not miss the opportunity to lock out every demonic appearance out of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, thank you for this evening. Lord, we are going to give us a good night's sleep. And Father, visit us in our dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for our brethren that have traveled. Thank you for those that are not here. Lord, it is well with them wherever they are in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Um, before we share the grace, 
Um, Sunday is um, Carol. Don't forget, as we said, cook your local food. Ratulu, what are you going to cook?